just before 9.30 last night on Finian Road at Christie Downs, uh, there was an altercation between two groups of people. As a consequence of that altercation, a 29-year-old 20 male was fatally stabbed. Another, another male also received serious injuries and he was taken to Flinders Medical Centre. Um, and then another male was also injured and he was uh, taken to Norlunga. Um, as a consequence of, uh, those, um, of that incident uh, and uh, police investigations, we have now arrested a young male in his 20s, in his early 20s, and he's being interviewed as, we, as, as I stand here now. Um, so the investigation is still very early on in its um, uh, stages. It's highly likely that there will be further arrests made in relation to this incident. Um, but in general sense, it appears to be a, a fight between two groups of, of, of people, uh, predominantly males, and that's as a consequence of that that's led to these injuries, which has led to the death of um, the 29-year-old. 20, but importantly, um, we're obviously seeking assistance of the community, people who may have been in and around the Finian Road area last night around 9.30, and also there's a 1990 yellow Ford Courier Ute, which was uh, believed to be involved in uh, this incident, and that was, um, has been now located, burnt out, uh, in Morford Vale, so anyone who had, may have seen that vehicle last night or early hours of this morning, also to make contact with the, the police. Is that a stolen car? No. Belonging to? Uh, it be belongs to an, an associate of um, uh, the people involved. Of the associate of the victim or the offenders? The offenders. Uh, in relation to, so you've got Finian Road and the street is Oswin Court, is where the vehicle was located. Was, um, so it appears to be a fight between two groups. Do you know whether the group was invited or was, is it more of a home invasion type? No, so we don't believe it's a home invasion style matter. I think it's, um, and really we, we, I, I asked the investigators this morning what was the motive and we're still trying to determine exactly what the motive is. We're not really sure. Uh, but I'm sure we'll get to that as, as the investigation moves forward. But um, it appears that there was obviously um, an altercation between these two groups which has led to um, these injuries occurring. Are, are the victims and the arrest known to one another? Uh, we believe so, yes. So they're all known to one another? Yes. And the, one of the victims, um, do you have ages on the other, the other victims? Um, no, I don't. But I'll, I'll, I probably can get them for you of, of the injuries of the, um, the the victims. Yes. And the the offender in his twenties. Do you have any specific? No, I don't. Not, not, as I said, he's only just. Right. Uh, um, no, all I know is the early twenties. And uh, the, the house for the infant. No, it's a unit. It's a, it's a block of units. And were the victim any of the victims living at that address? Yes, some were. Some Yes. And a deceased man. I've I don't have that level of detail. Um, my understanding, it um, when the police got there, the the the, um, the victim was outside, but that doesn't mean it didn't occur inside, you know, at, at the beginning. So, as I said, this is very really early stage in the investigation, and um, the detectives have been working on it all night, and uh, have led to the the arrest of this gentleman early hours this morning. And there's a number of other inquiries I've got to make, and as I said, it's highly likely we'll have further arrests. During the day. Do you know where the arrested person was found? Uh, in the Christie's Beach area.